All right, we are back. We have adjusted the focus, so now we're quite a bit closer. And now we can see different structures. You will need to actually gently touch the different parts of the worm so you can tell which is which. Because believe it or not, they do feel differently based on what they do because structure is related to function. Okay, you can see there's a lot of connective tissue still here. You can use your needle and cut that away if that bothers you or you can ignore it. Okay, but this, when you feel it, it's going to be relatively tough because that's the pharynx. All right, that's the part. This is the cool thing about worms. This thing actually shoots out of the mouth and then comes back in. And when it does that, it grabs food and other bits of soil. And that's what it swallows because it doesn't have a way of putting food in its mouth. So this structure elongates and comes out of the mouth opening and then grabs food and comes back in. It's actually pretty cool. Underneath here, there's a very thin structure. Depending on how talented you are, you can, you'll ruin some other structures, but you can see you'll be able to pull out the esophagus, which is underneath all of these structures here. And some groups do that really well. Sometimes you have to use theirs as the example. I'm trying not to cut into this one too much so that you guys have something to look forward to. Okay, these white structures here are various parts of the reproductive system and you'll have to use your notes to figure out which is which. Okay, that means you actually have to read the lab. And then you'll notice something different about these two structures here. It seems like all of a sudden the esophagus has gotten big. Well, sort of. Okay, these two structures are different. One is the crop and one is the gizzard. And if you're familiar with bird anatomy at all, and what a gizzard is like, for those of you that like to eat gizzards, you should be able to tell by touching which one is a crop and which one is a gizzard. And it is kind of amazing that they have the same function in a worm that they do in birds. Okay. And then the rest of this, like I said before, is just intestine. There's a question related to why this blood vessel would have to be this close to the intestine. Again, think about form and function. Why should one thing be that close to another? What is the purpose? All right. There are other questions on there, but this is just to get you started.